right gang, football season is once again upon us, so I thought what I would do is show you how to make some killer appetizers to start off with, and then we're going to smoke some really interesting dishes, one of which is called swine apple. So stay tuned because all this is going to come into focus in just a few seconds as we start pulling the pieces of the puzzle together. Now the thing is, is that making really killer appetizers doesn't have to be all that complicated. And what I'm going to do is show you how to make a couple of things right now that are, that'll start us off. The first one's going to be, I'm going to show you how to make my world famous barbecue sauce, which basically consists of ketchup, a little hot sauce, either uh, honey or you can use brown sugar, of course beer, and uh, I also, instead of using salt, I prefer to use a little bit of soy sauce in it. And then what I'm going to show you how to do is mix up some killer beer balls. So stay tuned and we're going to get right into it. All right, let's get started by getting some of this stuff out of the way. We'll need this in a few seconds because the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to make the barbecue sauce. And the beauty of the barbecue sauce is not only will we use it for our beer balls, but we're also going to use it when we do our next dish later on, which is going to be called swine apple. All right, so the first thing you need is you need some type of tomato paste, ketchup, whatever you happen to have, it's got to be red, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to use up the rest of this ketchup. You can also use tomato paste. Just make sure you've got it thick enough because again we're making beer barbecue sauce, not beer barbecue soup. So you want to make sure it's thick enough. Now I'm going to give it a little shot of sriracha. And again you want to do this to taste. So you can make it as, you know, if you want to make it fire, warm, fire hot, that's fine too. Again you can use either honey, which is what I'm going to use, or you can use some Brown sugar, but if you use brown sugar, you need to cook this beforehand to make sure the sugar breaks up. A little bit of that. And of course, some of our beer. And then what I'm going to do is stir. Okay. Because again, what you want to do is make sure this is all incorporated until it's nice and smooth and thick and red. And again, you can make a whole lot of it. You can make a little bit of it. I'm making this batch specifically for the beer balls, but we're also going to be making some more of it when we do our swine apple. All right. Now, once we have that cooking, you want to let that sit on the side. And the next thing that you want to do, after taking a little hit of your medicine, of course, is we're going to start preparing our beer balls. So what I like to do is I like to use a combination of ground beef and pork sausage. So you need one of these, nice big bowl. So we're going to start off by putting in the beef. We're going to put in the sausage. Make sure you take off the little plastic wrapper. That does not add any flavor. Uh, also, we're going to add in some breadcrumbs. We're going to add one, count them, one egg. And we're going to add in some nice minced onion. I'm also going to give this a little hit of soy. And then we get in there and we just mash it all together. Anyway, there we go. Voila. So now what I'm going to start doing are making my meatballs. And again, you know, you don't want these to be King Kongs. You want them to be small because they're appetizer size. So once you get a little bit of the hamburger off your hamburger hands, we just start doing as we're holding these puppies together. You want to make them about that size, you know, an inch or smaller, you know, you want to make them teeny tiny if you want. I like to make them pretty decent because again, once you cook them, they're going to cook down a little bit. All right, and remember, I am a professional, but you know, anybody can pretty much make meatballs. These are also very good, by the way, to put in with some marinara sauce, but today we're going to use them as an appetizer. All right, men, what I did, as you can see, is I set the meatballs into a couple of pie plates. Just make sure that if you do it, you spray it with some nonstick uh, mixture around the bottom because the last thing you want is sticky balls, okay? Because if you don't give, put some nonstick down, what'll happen is these could actually stick to the pan and you don't want to lose the meat. So what you do is spray them down with a little bit of nonstick coating, get all your meatballs set up, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here to the oven and we're going to pop these bad boys in there and we're going to cook them at 400 degrees for all of 30 minutes. Set your timer and we'll be right back. We're going to see how they look. 
absolutely perfect. And we'll take them from there and we'll put the sauce on them and take them to the next level. There's two ways you can do these. You can put them into a crock pot, which is what we have here. And if you don't have one, guys, I recommend that you get one because it's what I call the easy man's way of making gourmet meals. Or if you don't have four or five hours, you can get one of these little devils here. This is a Dutch oven. And since I'm going to do these in an hour, I want to put them in the Dutch oven. And as I explained before, you want to make sure this is where your diligence will pay off because you can see these are not sticky. Because guys, nobody likes sticky balls, am I right? All right. Put those in there. Move on over here, up close and personal. What we're going to do, we're going to put the sauce on the meatballs. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just make sure that you take a spoon and give them a turn so that you coat them, but be careful that you don't break up the meatballs. And then what we're going to do, we're going to close this up and we're going to put it, in this case, back into that 400 degree oven for another 30 minutes and finish them off. All right, gang, there we have it. Our first course, beer balls. Next, I'm going to show you how to make a beer bun pull apart with hot artichoke dip. So stand by and get ready for the next play.